You can get it all in? All right. Sometimes on the video, I'm standing like over here, making an emphatic point, illustrating things with my hands, and nobody can see it. So. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, we are back in the OPC's Book of Church Order um, in the chapter dealing with ministers laboring outside the church. That's chapter 28. You don't need to turn there to follow along, but it would be helpful, I think, if you did. But that's where we're going to be, and let's go ahead and begin with a word of prayer. Gracious Lord, we thank you for this day of rest. We thank you that on it, remember, we, you, we remember your work of creation and also, Lord, the rest that you took. We remember, Lord, the great redemption that you made of your people out of Egypt, bringing them from slavery into the rest of the promised land. But we thank you that we can remember today Jesus who delivered us from slavery to the kingdom of darkness and has given us the liberty of the sons of God. And we pray, Lord, that as we set aside the ordinary tasks that so preoccupy us, you'd bless us if we give our minds and hearts to contemplating your word and also now in this time to the workings of your church, that it may be built up and edified and express its unity in Christ. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so again, as we said, uh, we're dealing with the chapter that addresses ministers laboring outside the church. Now, again, by church here, we mean the denomination of the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. Okay, It's not so much laboring in a field of work outside of um, the denomination as far as like a seminary professor or something like that, although that is referenced here per se. This is a situation primarily where ministers might be called or under certain circumstances serve in a church that's outside of our denomination. Now, again, ordinarily what would happen is, let's say there's a minister in the Orthodox...